We talked about gate model quantum computers. We talked about quantum annealers. And we also talked about how we implement them. And we saw when it comes to implementations, we, we introduce imperfections. These imperfections prevent us from running more, the most famous quantum algorithms on these quantum computers. And there has been a change over the last, I would say, five, six years in mentality. So we started to develop a new breed of quantum algorithms, which are called variational circuits. So these are designed for noisy and imperfect quantum computers. Because if we have a system, which is our quantum processing unit, it's embedded in an environment, you know, whether it's a superconducting architecture, whether, it's, whether these are trapped ions, there's always an environment. And there is some interaction going on. So you will face decoherence and uh, equilibration, all sorts of strange processing going on. So we have, we have this limited ability to, to control the system, and this limits uh, circuit depth, for instance. So what we want to do is run a short burst of calculation on the quantum processing unit, extract the results to a classical CPU, and then the circuit that we ran on the quantum computer is parametrized. So by understanding the results of a cal calculation, we can go back, adjust the parameters of the quantum processor, and again run a short burst of calculation, and it becomes this iterative loop. So, one of the most famous variational circuits is quantum approximate optimization, or QAOA for short, which actually draws inspiration from quantum annealing. So what we are trying to do is approximate the adiabatic pathway, but on the gate model quantum computer. So remember that what we do here is we calculate the ground state of some simple Hamiltonian, say, just the sigma x interaction on every single site. The ground state of this is just going to be the equal superposition of all states. And then we follow this adiabatic pathway, and if we do the transition slow enough, then we can read out the ground state of the, the system that we are interested in, for instance, the IZ model. So in the game model quantum computer, what we do is we break this pathway up into discrete chunks. And the way we parameterize the circuit is to have a, a more and more accurate approximation of this transition. So at the end of it, you would actually read out the ground state just the same way as you would do it on a quantum annealer. So we have this transition and, uh, that we want to approximate, so this time-evolving Hamiltonian, and say up to some time t null, we could approximate it in two steps. So one, say, going this way, and the other going this way. First, we would apply the, the first Hamiltonian, uh, the sigma x interaction, for some duration beta null, followed by the application of the, of the second Hamiltonian for some duration gamma null. And then we can have subsequent time steps. And we, all, and we multiply them together. So this approximation is known as trotterization. And you can control the accuracy by increasing the p. So the more steps you have in the discretization, the more accurate your uh, optimization is going to be. So this way, now you can formulate an optimization problem over these parameters and do a, say, a gradient descent to actually find the ground state of your target system. 